I work on the F-35 aircraft, which is a fifth-gen multi-role fighter. As a multi-role fighter, it's capable of air-to-air, -air, air to ground, and a number of support roles in the Air Force. This jet, amazing to fly. It's very responsive. The pilots have situational awareness that no other aircraft really offers, all due to the technology integrated into the cockpit, into their helmet, and into the airframe as a whole. One of the key features of this aircraft is its single engine. Very advanced, fifth-generation fighter engine developed by Pratt & Whitney. The engine has all cast components. The blade in the front of the fan, which provides bypass air for cooling and thrust, is one solid piece of titanium. The core of the engine, which produces most of the thrust, is fairly standard, although it is properly tuned to create a what they call a cold exhaust, so that it can't be tracked by heat-seeking missiles. And then behind the core is an afterburner. In takeoff, in a high-stress environment, the pilot is able to divert fuel past the core directly into the airstream to give them even more power, even more speed. This aircraft is stealth, so it is invisible to radar. It's able to travel faster than the speed of sound, and there's almost no mission in the Air Force or the Navy or the Marines that this aircraft can't carry out. So as a crew chief, I'm responsible for the safety and the mission capability of this aircraft. From the moment it touches the ground until the moment it takes off again, it is in crew chief control. We make sure the pilot has oxygen to breathe. We make sure the structure of the aircraft is sound. We make sure the engine is working. We service the oil, anything that we can't fix ourselves, which is our specialized programs such as the stealth, the weapon systems, the fuel systems, and the avionics. We direct the maintenance to make sure it gets where it needs to be and is prepared the next time the pilot needs it.